hello friend this is sonam uh, today in this video we will see how to create an a parallel approval flow in power automate also that means uh, we will create an approval flow using a parallel branch in power automate uh, where, where we will create an approval flow uh, and sending that approval request to uh, manager and as well as a uh, hr uh, so that if both the uh, users, uh, if both the HR and managers are approved that approval flow, next it will go to that, uh, it will send an email notification to that person who created that email and also it will update that approval um, comments and also status in a SharePoint list or our data source and if and similarly if it is re they rejected, if any one of them is rejected then it will be count as a approval flow count as as a rejected so for the approval uh, for, so for the final approbation uh, it need to um, both of approve so we worked on this uh, let's work on this flow and create this flow create a flow like this so first of all I log uh, I have to uh, sorry so first of all we have to log in our office 365 user ID using office 365 you know, using um, user ID uh, or, or we have so first of all we have to log in our user id uh, in the office 365 uh, so i just log in my uh, log in this page with my user id then next uh, in the power apps in the app launcher we will get our application so that uh, we can create an uh, um, so that we can create our app, app, uh, approval flow uh, for creating the approval flow we will go to power automate uh, click on that then open in new tab then it will open the new tab i just created on i just open that uh, then also we need uh, for our flow we need to open that uh, share point also so that we can use our, our data source then also outlook to get our email notification okay let's start it uh, first in SharePoint so I just created a leave request apply leave request where a list uh, where I just inserted a title for where we will insert our data and the reason uh, for so in SharePoint I have created a list uh, named travel request where uh, when the user insert some data here then it will go to the notify to the manager and HR as well uh, so here it is the title is the default uh, default column then uh, form and two is both are the date and type column and status is it's a um, uh, choice column where the choices are uh, approved and rejected and then HR comment and the another one is uh, manager comment if both are the single line come uh, single line text of column let's uh, our now our list is ready now let's move to that uh, flow creation so for flow creation if the home page now and to create the go to the create and as we are going to create an automated cloud flow go to automated cloud flow and then give a name flow name suppose parallel approval flow like this uh, then next when an item is created it will create an approval request when an item is created the flow will be triggered once the item is created next okay now we will have to give the site address site address it's sonom then list name our list name what is our list name the travel request let's find a travel request then in the next step once the item is created it will create an approval request so start and wait for an approval request so here is the approval everyone must approve uh, so title should be the let's give a title uh, like leave approval request so it will assign uh, for HR user 1 it's my um, so we are assigning to HR so uh, it will be the uh, user one it is the uh, my it's my uh, test user id let's give some details here so that user can understand it sorry it's a travel request approval uh, for title i want to take a travel request from so here we will take that from 
date to to so in title we will insert the title so that uh, hr can understand from that when the email will arrive uh, i want to take a table request leave from that's okay so created by this planning okay uh let's rename it for approval uh, hr so that we can understand easily uh, next we will add a um, uh, and it will uh, the same notice approval request will go to that uh, manager at the same time so we will create an parallel branch here uh, the click on the plus icon then add an parallel branch uh, then similarly uh, let's uh, as we are cop and copy and then here it is so let's rename this manager um, that uh, another one user 2 now uh, the user uh, sorry now our flow almost ready uh, so when the item is created it will go to that approval request to both i hr and the manager next step uh, we will add a condition so in outcomes if the outcomes from hr is equal to approve and similarly add row then outcome from manager is equal to approve if both are approve then it will go to the uh, yes section and here it will first it will send an email notification specify the person name so uh, the person who created that email created by email uh, who requested that uh, for approval request then give the subject uh, um, request approved hi your travel request for so here we will insert the title so that user can get that idea is approved thanks and regards um okay on that uh, once the user uh, get that notification it will update in the sharepoint list also for updating update item uh, we will provide the site address then list name uh, list name is travel request so id then title so we title and the status uh, approved and hr comment the comment here it is the hr comment so insert that it will create an app, apply to which loop then and similarly here we will also uh, update this one let's copy and then paste it it will make our work easy uh, then it will get rejected let's update this uh, request uh, or items in sharepoint list uh, update item similarly we will give our site address and the list name also give title and then here in the status value we will set it as rejected and the hr comment so that user can get that hr comment only comments the hr comments and again in the rejected comments now it's ready as we can see there is no error in our flow so and the flow is our ready let's save it once we will save then next we will uh, test the flow yeah now the flow is ready to go we recommend to test then click on manually next text so it is notify us to see the work now add a new list item to the sharepoint folder you select it. okay uh, in our lab sharepoint list let's uh, create an item suppose uh, suppose i will create an item new branch of his visit for example i just created a leave request uh, uh, sorry tra travel request uh, for new branch of his visit from 13 to uh, 15 then leave it uh, now the item is created now you will see it will go to that uh, manager and hr as well in artist at the same time i just opened my um, that a uh, test user id in my another um, browser and here it is cam cam see uh, uh, it's coming as like we just uh, modified in our um, flow it came as similar to our flow so let's uh, approve it okay approved let's get done but wait for the final approval then next click on submit and then next we will here i just open my user 2 id so for manager hi manager yeah let's approve it yes 
you can go let's submit it now we will get a notification in our uh, in our email uh, let's check this so request is approved as it is coming request approved your travel new branch office is approved so let's check this uh, whether it is updated or not in our stay appoint list so let's refresh it yes this is how we can um, work with a parallel approval branch uh, also uh, if the hr or manager uh, are reject any any of them is reject this approval request then it will be coming as a status will be rejected this is how we can work with that approval flow uh, using a parallel branch uh, so thank you guys uh, for your time and if you like um, like my videos uh, to like and share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please subscribe our channel to get more free videos tutorial on sharepoint power apps power automate power bi python machine learning and many more thank you so much and if you have any questions and any doubts please give a comment uh, and ask me in your comment section and thank you so much.